Hello mate, welcome back. In this video I'm just working on some more renders in this scene here. The main character. The uh, player character is having a conversation with the mum character. So I've already rendered a few images from this scene but uh, the mum character is now going to put down this glass of milk on the counter and she's going to stand up so that she's having a face-to-face -face with our main character. And the main character doesn't really matter because you don't actually ever see the character's face. It's just there because it was in the background of a bouquet shot. So I can actually just get rid of him. No problem. So what I need to do first is select the tall glass of milk. As you can see, it's not actually parented to the mum character. So we can just drop this down until such time as it actually is on the counter, so there it is close there. We can just, I believe it's like 89. No, no, it might be 91, sorry, I may be going the wrong way. There we go. And again, this isn't hugely important, but it would be nice to get it as close to the, so yeah, it's 91 is the surface of the counter, so that's fine. Now we need to find a pose for the mum character, so we'll just give her a select. Go into our smart content poses by function standing and obviously she's having a conversation so she's not going to be doing any weird and wonderful sexy standing posing or anything like that we just need a kind of standard ordinary talking kind of standing conversation you don't actually believe how difficult it is sometimes to find that kind of pose in a Dash studio library because almost every every pose and people who have watched this channel for a long time will have heard me say this a million times before There's, there are just too many um overly sexy poses and there's very few ordinary just idle poses or activity poses person standing not showing off not doing anything sexy just doing what normal people would do so let's just pull out a random pose from me selection and see what we end up with okay there we go i think i oh and uh no it's all right i'm not in a camera so we can just pop on to there like that okay that's unusual try that again now that we're the right way up nope it's definitely pissed that's fine it's uh, a little bit perhaps over dramatic we'll have to straighten up it's fine it's not actually a problem um, we can just do a reset camera if we're really that fast about being on the wonk. So there's a camera in the scene. Camera 2 is located somewhere over here that she's actually looking at. So we're going to need to rotate her so that she's still looking more or less at that camera. Because that's the person, that's where the, that's where the main player character is standing and looking. And that's where she's actually making eye contact with but that just frees us up so we can actually put our camera where we want for the sake of a shot excuse me so we'll just spin this round and we can get the camera more or less where we want it to be kind of round about here is fine and then i'm going to swing the camera out a little bit more like that. So she's talking to somebody over here to camera left and then we're going to put a camera down where we are here just like so and then that just means that we can frame up properly. I'm going to camera 6, select the camera and we're going to adjust the focal length until I'm going to go with maybe that kind of that kind of composition and I'm actually going to give her a facial expression in this shot. She's responding to something that the player character has said. So we don't want anything overly kind of uh, emotive. She's just a normal person having a normal conversation. So we can go with, hmm, let's see. Kind of a neutral expression, but we want it to be neutral with some life in it because this dead neutral expression you don't want to overuse it like any like any expression the neutral pose facial expression for a character is still an expression and if it's all the character does 
them is not going to look very not going to be very realistic it's going to be noticeable very quickly so you're just trying to find some kind of neutral expression that's different from the normal neutral expression so that the character is actually just doing something different with their face but not so emotive that you know it could be construed as doing something else so I'm going to go with this one and see what happens There we go, it's very subtle, but it's still a neutral expression. Now I've got to quickly run the simulation to make sure that our hair is doing what it's supposed to do. This won't take very long at all. And so that's that done. Now I'm going to, going to do my old lighting trick again. So I'm going to come back into perspective view and I'm going to create a new primitive. Nope, that's a light, we don't want that. Create a new primitive, it's going to be a sphere. It'll be about a meter across, like so. That's fine, and then we can jump into wire texture shaded and select our sphere. Actually, we're going to select our minus 39 and minus 308. I'm going to change that position minus 39, and we're going to change this to minus 308, and then I'm going to just bring this up. something like that. Now while I've got the sphere selected, go into geometry editing mode and I'm just going to delete these faces here. And geometry editing, delete selected polygons, yarp. I'm actually going to hide the mum character just a second. bottom ones in my selection and then do the same thing with this level and the same thing with this level let's just delete those polygons yes please and we can swing around and just get these ones from the other side and hit that there we go and delete selected polygons yes please marvelous let's try and get as much of the shape into view as possible select all the remaining polygons including this one right click and then geometry editing i'm going to flip the normals come back to my camera six turn on the mum character and i'm going to now apply to this object i'm going to actually come back into texture shader and i'm going to apply to this object my previously created ghost light material so it should now go invisible yep 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 or mostly invisible what's going on there why are you still? That's because I've got the faces selected by coming to this mode. Which is where I want to be. Now we can no longer see it. Now if I go into NVIDIA IRA preview mode, we can see if that's doing what it's meant to be doing or not. Cool. So now all I need to do is in parameters, I can check that this is not a two-sided light. So we just come around and it will say two-sided light and we go off. And now it'll only like the character and not the objects around her. Anything contained within the sphere is going to be lit. But that's perhaps a little bit too much on her body. So go into perspective view, come back into texture wire shaded mode. Now we've got our object there. Go into this and I'm actually going to delete these polygons here it's fine and that one as well nope not that one this one yeah that's the last one of those so delete that one as well 
that's cool. And now because we can see the wireframe, we can actually use this as an opportunity to move it around a bit. So we've got our object selected. We're now into our move tool. And I'm actually just gonna drag this back ever so slightly, and I'm gonna rotate it on the Y axis a little bit. Kind of there, I think, is probably what I'm after. So now if I go back into my camera six, and I go back into NVIDIA Iron Mode, that should be slightly better. Shouldn't be quite so luminescent now. Most of the light to be behind her, realistically. Remember that our main light source is the window, which is behind her and over to this side. There we go, that's more like it. Still perhaps a little brighter than she needs to be, so we can always drop that down again a little bit more. Which I think I'm going to do. So we've got our surface our sphere selected. We can just go straight down to emission. And what are we on at the moment? We're on 1500. Let's bring that down to 500 and see what happens. There we go. It's a little bit more neutral. Happy day. So I'm going to render that one out. And that'll be that for this video. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Hope you found that interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.